Hey everyone, it's Smart Simplified here. Are you ready to take your financial game to the next level? In today's video, we'll explore seven financial habits that can change your life forever. Whether you're just starting your financial journey or looking to optimize your finances, these tips will set you on the path to financial independence. Let's dive in. Dining out can add up quickly, by simply reducing your restaurant meals by a couple of times a week and cooking at home instead, you could potentially save hundreds of dollars each month. Home-cooked meals are not only healthier but also more economical. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, it's about being mindful of your spending and making conscious choices that align with your financial goals. This mindfulness can lead to a more fulfilling and stress-free financial life. Now let's move on to the exciting part, investing. Investing is like planting a seed for your future, allowing your money to grow and work for you. But here's the thing, consistency is key. You see, trying to time the market, predicting when to buy low and sell high is incredibly difficult, even for seasoned investors. In fact, studies have shown that consistently investing over the long term often yields better returns than trying to time the market. That's where dollar cost averaging comes in. It's a simple yet powerful investment strategy where you invest a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market fluctuations. Think of it like this. When the market is down, your fixed investment amount buys you more shares at a discounted price, and when the market is up, you're buying fewer shares but at a higher price. Over time, this strategy helps to average out the cost of your investments, reducing the impact of market volatility. The best part? You don't need a lot of money to get started. With platforms like Robinhood and M1 Finance, you can start investing with as little as $1. Remember, investing is a long game. It's about steadily building wealth over time, not chasing quick profits. By investing consistently, you're harnessing the power of compound interest, allowing your money to grow exponentially over the long term. Chapter 4. Let's talk about a sneaky, wealth-killer lifestyle inflation. It's a common trap that many people fall into, especially when they receive a raise or promotion. They start spending more money on bigger houses, fancier cars, and more extravagant vacations. While it's natural to want to reward yourself for your hard work, falling victim to lifestyle inflation can sabotage your financial goals. Instead of using your increased income to build wealth, you end up trapped in the same cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. Here's the thing, your happiness shouldn't be tied to material possessions. True fulfillment comes from experiences, relationships, and pursuing your passions. 
So, how do you avoid lifestyle inflation? It's simple. Be mindful of your spending and prioritize experiences over material possessions. Instead of upgrading your car every few years, why not invest that money in a down payment on a rental property or a low-cost index fund? Instead of going on lavish vacations, explore local destinations or plan budget-friendly trips. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, it's about making conscious choices that align with your values and financial goals. Chapter 5. Pay Yourself First Let's talk about a powerful mindset shift that can revolutionize your finances, paying yourself first. This concept is a cornerstone of financial success and stability. Now this doesn't mean splurging on yourself before paying your bills. It's not about indulging in luxuries or unnecessary expenses. It means prioritizing your financial future by allocating a portion of your income towards your savings or investment accounts before you even think about spending it. This ensures that your future needs are met before your current wants. Think of it like this. When you get your paycheck, you pay your landlord, your utility companies, your credit card companies, right? All these entities get their share first. But what about paying yourself? You are just as important, if not more so. You deserve to be at the top of your own priority list. Your financial well-being should come first. By paying yourself first, you're essentially treating your savings and investments like non-negotiable expenses. This creates a disciplined approach to saving. It's like paying your future self, ensuring that you're consistently working towards your financial goals. This habit builds a secure financial foundation. Now I know what you might be thinking, but Graham, I can barely make ends meet as it is. How am I supposed to pay myself first? It seems impossible, right? Trust me, I've been there. I understand the struggle and the doubts. When I first started out, money was tight. Every dollar was accounted for, and there was little room for extras. But even then, I committed to paying myself first, even if it was just a small amount. It was a promise I made to my future self. The key is to start small and gradually increase the amount as your income grows. Consistency is more important than the amount. Even if you can only afford to set aside $50 or $100 each paycheck, do it. Every little bit helps. It's amazing how quickly those small amounts can add up over time, especially with the power of compound interest. Your money starts working for you. Remember, paying yourself first is a mindset shift. It's about changing the way you think about money and your priorities. It's about prioritizing your financial future and making a conscious decision to invest in yourself. This decision can lead to long-term financial security and peace of mind. Chapter 6. Keep Learning About Money In the world of finance, knowledge is power. The more you know about managing your money, investing, and building wealth, the better equipped you'll be to make informed financial decisions. Think of it like this. If you were diagnosed with a medical condition, you wouldn't hesitate to research the condition, consult with doctors, and learn everything you can to manage your health, right? Well, your finances deserve the same level of attention and care. Luckily, we live in an age where information is readily available at our fingertips. There are countless books, podcasts, YouTube channels, and online courses dedicated to personal finance and investing. Don't be afraid to dive in and start learning. The more you educate yourself, the more confident and empowered you'll feel about managing your money. Remember, financial literacy is an ongoing journey, not a destination. There's always something new to learn, and the financial landscape is constantly evolving. So, make a commitment to yourself to continuously expand your financial knowledge. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries, and follow financial experts you trust. Chapter 7. Plan for Retirement Early Now let's talk about retirement. I know, I know, it might seem like a lifetime away, especially if you're in your 20s or 30s. But trust me, time flies. And the earlier you start planning for retirement, the better off you'll be. Think of it like this. Retirement planning is like running a marathon. You don't just show up on race day without any training, right? You need to prepare, pace yourself, and stay consistent over the long haul. The same goes for retirement. The earlier you start saving and investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially thanks to the magic of compound interest. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Graham, retirement seems so far away, I have more pressing financial goals right now. And that's perfectly understandable. But even if you can only afford to contribute a small amount to your retirement accounts each month, it's a step in the right direction. Remember, even small contributions made consistently over time can add up to a significant nest egg by the time you retire. 
Plus, many employers offer retirement savings plans, like 401ks with matching contributions. That's free money, people. Don't leave it on the table. So, make a commitment to yourself to start planning for retirement today. Even if it's just setting up a Roth IRA and contributing a small amount each month, it's a step in the right direction. So there you have it, seven financial habits that can truly transform your financial life. It's all about being consistent, disciplined, and proactive. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on achieving financial freedom. What's the one habit you're going to start working on today? Comment below and let's help each other on this journey to financial independence.